uh, hi everyone so what we will do is let's build our uh, entities quickly so we can just uh, we already know the columns like we have to create address menu and restaurant entity right so address restaurant will have address name website description all these fields right so what we can do is we can just quickly add these uh, so we have another is column and so in the column object we have all the other properties and uh, this is the column so we have the name column this is of type string and here we actually provide an object object of all possible like type is what type is worker and let's put a length is 255 and name should be unique that is true okay now we all can also add the other fields which is website description and all like there is some brand or some chain of restaurant or oh, let's say about about us okay there will be no unique and this is website so length can be that here we need it it as a we will not put the limitation of 255 character and then other two columns is like created at or uh, updated at column which we can just add so this is our first entity restaurant and then we have to define other two entities which are address and menu and then we will define the association and then we will do the npm run db sync to populate these tables in our schema so we can just do the copy and paste now the only thing will change when the first is menu and the table name is menu okay the primary key is still same now in the menu what all different columns we have is let's add them so in the menu we have the name type menu type name okay it's a type name type meal type let's add the other columns because we have many columns on the menu so we'll keep adding them okay meal type we have a media banner and description all these things media banner like some meal banner which will show the image of that meal okay it is a sandwich it is a burger or something else and then price okay why well, okay meal type banner price here we will also put the limitations because these are not going to be more than 255 characters manner is going to be some link some image link either we will provide them upload facility to s3 or azure blob and price is also length of the fixed okay now we have other thing is name type meal type description cuisine type say equation type uh, length will be the same there will be one more like description field we can add that will talks about the meal if restaurant want to add it it is of variable length okay then we have a, now this is the menu entity right menu should have a relationship with the restaurant because restaurant will add these menu so what we will do is restaurant id will be a foreign key in the menu right if restaurant is deleted we can also purge all the the menu entities right but we are not going to the hard delete of anything first of all this restaurant right restaurant will have one to many so what we will do is we will define one to many association first of all we will go to the, the menu entity and in the menu entity will define many to one many to one means we are like many 
menu items can belongs to one restaurant right so that is what menu to one means and here we will just put so we are in the menu entity public restaurant public restaurant we will define the type a type will be the restaurant here uh, we will just say many menu item will belongs to one restaurant one restaurant and the mapping of the column mapping of the column will be with we will create this column in our event in our restaurant table which is restaurant id uh, menu restaurant menu okay this is this will be many one to many because one restaurant will have a mapping with many right one to many here we'll say so one to many and many to many because one restaurant will be will have a many many items right so I mean to understand this association it is very simple one to many means this is one entity will belongs to many what many menus right we'll import the menu entity and the event the column mapping column mapping will be with event dot restaurant and here public uh, it will be here in the restaurant menu right restaurant menu restaurant menu will belongs to a multiple menu and this is our one to menu one to many okay and the same mapping i will do in the menu entity event dot restaurant menu and this is will be of type restaurant that's it clean and sorted okay this is restaurant then here in the restaurant entity yes that is correct we have restaurant why it is complaining okay it's not initialized okay we'll just do it fine so here we are we have defined the one to many relationship and there is an address also so what address will holds we just copy paste the relationship kind of structure one restaurant can have a many address or it can be a simple one to one but let's hold it as a one to many right so in the restaurant instead of pointing to the restaurant menu we are going to now have a relationship of the same kind with the address right just we can just do copy paste one to many with the address So here it will be event dot restaurant address. Let's call it as a and this is address. Okay, so address entity have we created it? No, right? So let's create the address entity first. Copy the menu entity, copy and paste. Now what all things will change based on the address street and all these things we will add id is the primary key and let's call it as a street address house number okay now landmark city lat long and all We can call it as a position because we are going to deal with the and here it can be json b right json object let's call it as a null label is true it can be null and city landmark can also be null but house number will not be null and uh, this will also not not be null okay let long address now what we are going to have let's remove these things which we don't need cool so here it is menu to one with the same restaurant event dot 
here we'll have a restaurant address not with restaurant menu here if we go we have actually created a restaurant address simply address column we have created and this address entity is also there so let's rename it to address save it and let's import the address entity now we should be able to resolve it so we need to create this restaurant address here as a column and this will points to the column which we have created it should be the address okay that's cool so this is how we have defined the relationship between the restaurant menu and address right now what we, what i will do is i will use this db sync utility to create all these relationships what is simply i can do is let's go to the docker container i will go inside this swiggy microservice that i shell and npm run db sync Okay, we are inside uh, the terminal. So what we can do is npm run db sync. After just doing npm run db build, we can see that already entities are there. Just to make sure, src app domain entities. We can see all the entities. Now we can just do the build. Just to make sure that volume mount is properly happening or not npm run build what it will do is it will just simply create the the dist folder for us with all the compiled entities that's what we need we just need to make sure that we are not writing anything which can create a problem test controller we can remove this we are not using because this will break our build and in the domain module i think we haven't imported it so that should be fine once this is done, we are what we will do is npm run db sync, which will create the entities for the target database. And this is our environment config in which we have the database, Postgres admin admin. Okay, so that I will do, I will do this offline. I will create these entities. Now we will write the controller and services for these entities like we are going to expose restaurant for now restaurant and the menus like you should be able to get the menu for a restaurant you should be able to get all the restaurant and their locations address right restaurant all the menus you should be able to create update delete that is the objective that is that will be the responsibility of first root admin but yes manually we will gradually we will also add access control so that the restaurant admin should be able to update only its own restaurant not the other restaurant right but the root admin who is like sitting on top should be able to create the restaurant approve the restaurant and restaurant admin should be able to allow to create a add a new menu update a new menu delete all these things because that is a restaurant owner he can do all these things okay uh, thanks everyone